We just have to acknowledge that a lot has been going on in the last 72 hours. We know that the country is feeling a range of emotions. The one thing that I love about this show is that it is a space for joy. It is a space for hope. Yes. Yeah, I think she's feeling very uneasy about, well, being a Republican, or at least her dad was a Republican, and she's hanging with this guy. I have no idea who it is, but he's very excited about it being Pride Month and his orientation, so they talk a lot about that. And Jenna, I can tell, I'm sorry, she's faking it because she's totally uncomfortable. So you know how, like, every year for the Oscars, there's always after parties everywhere? Yes. The Oscar party to get into is the Beyonce Jay-Z Oscar party. They have a... They take over the whole basement of the Chateau Marmont, and it's like the biggest deal ever. Do they have one every year? Every year. Every year. So I brought a friend of mine who's in the business. He tries to act like he doesn't care about celebrities. So we go to this Oscar party, and we're standing up, and all of a sudden, I see this woman sauntering up, and she's in this gilded gown, and she's walking up, and she comes up, and it's Beyonce. Oh, my gosh, I have chills. Wait. Now, she has chills because... That guy saw Beyonce at a party once. She's been on Air Force One. She's been in the Oval Office. I don't believe her. I just, this is the phoniness that I can't stand. And Chateau Marmont, that hotel is supposed to be a big deal. It is, I guess, in L.A. You know who hangs there? Hunter Biden. Back in his French aristocratic days, uh, he was all over that. Anyway, her co-host for the day, whatever his name is, tells us all about the fun time he had at the drag parade yesterday, it goes on and on and on. Yes, marching with drag queens. Uh, there are kids probably all over the place. And then he uh, wraps up with this. I look into the camera because I can't believe that I'm sitting here across from you hosting the Today Show from a town of 5,000 people. It is truly the American dream. And to all my gay brothers and sisters out there, you can live it too. Oh my gosh, we love you. We I love said you. I wasn't gonna cry this morning. <laughs> it's Pride Month. <laughs> we love you and we'll be back right after this. I, uh, give me a break, right? This is kind of nauseating. It's, uh, it's too much, it's too much. Nobody cares anymore. And half of America comes from a small town. What I see from Jenna is virtue signaling, right? Uh, especially when you're in a powerful position and you want to maintain that powerful position, you go with the flow. You go with what's fashionable right now, whether that's drag queens pretending you're impressed by Beyonce and doing whatever you can to atone that your dad appointed two of the critical judges on the Supreme Court. I think that's what's going on here. And also, by the way, she doesn't have the resume has not done the work to be on that show. I'm sorry if that's kind of mean. Maybe it is, but I don't like this stuff being jammed down Americans' throats as it is through Pride Month, but it feels a lot longer.